morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Greg Mitchell. I'm the managing co chair of the International Religious Freedom Roundtable. And I just want to open this off. I'll introduce uh, the press conference here. Uh, the Chinese government under Xi has intensified its campaign of mass religious persecution, particularly in the Uyghur, the Uyghur region. The persecution is marked by breathtaking brutality and collective punishment and is the worst since the Cultural Revolution. Since at least 2012, the Chinese Communist Party has steadily expanded its systematic campaign to punish and eradicate religious practice and belief. All faiths are experiencing tyranny and oppression that shocks the conscience. Millions of religious believers are being locked up in internment camps, detention centers, and prisons. Every day in China, people are harassed, intimidated, arrested, mistreated, tortured, and even killed extrajudicially. The purpose of today's press conference is to announce the formation of a coalition to advance religious freedom in China, brief you on, the, on China's worsening mass religious persecution, and the demand that China abide by its own constitution as well as its international legal obligations and respect the rights of all its citizens. Uh, first, let's hear from a couple of the original congressional sponsors of the Inter International Religious Freedom Act and cur the current member of Congress regarding the need for united and coordinated action on China. So I want to first start by introducing Ambassador at Large for International Religious Freedom, Sam Brownback. taking place uh, and I'm here to add the administration's support for that. I've spent much of the last year as an ambassador at large for international religious freedom speaking about the growing religious persecution in China. The persecution has not been limited to one faith group and the persecution has been growing and you're seeing the breadth of the religious practitioners from the breadth of the various groups that are here standing behind me. We are deeply concerned by the Chinese government's tightening restrictions on religious practice, including for Protestants, Catholics, Tibetan Buddhists, Muslims, the Falun Gong, and others. These restrictions have worsened since the government reassigned the management of religious affairs, which for decades was run by a government department that has been reassigned to the Chinese Communist Party, which is implementing new regulations that penalize all unregistered religious activities and is imposing new regulations on foreign, uh, foreigners' religious activities. And we are here today to give you a chance to hear directly from the groups that are affected by these actions and to officially recognize the launch of the Coalition to Advance Religious Freedom in China by the International Religious Freedom Roundtable. We believe religious freedom is a universal human right flowing from the inherent dignity of each individual. It is a beautiful right. It's a fundamental right. Our country was founded on it. It is in the Chinese Constitution. It is in the UN Charter Declaration of Human Rights. And we believe that every person around the world should be free to believe or not believe as they see fit. We're here to advocate for the religious freedom of all people, of all faiths, or even of no faith at all, in this country and around the world and in China. We're here to hear their stories of persecution and survival. We're here to say no more to the religious persecution. It is time for religious freedom to flourish in China. Thank you. <laughs> 